What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here on the Jamie Staples channel. We have some huge news in the Staples household today. Not I guess the Staples household, the Staples family. I wanna start off this vlog by sending out a huge congrats to my brother Matt Staples, often known as Matty Ice. He started four years ago as an assistant for me. He was in school, like he wasn't really loving it. And I was like, Matt, can you help me out with like some of this Twitch stuff? This is new, this is exciting. And, and uh, yeah, just run some administration, mod the channel, like all that stuff. He was like, yeah, cool. And he'd never played poker before, really. Uh, and they started playing two cent tournaments and 10 cent tournaments, 25 cent tournaments. And after about a year and a half, he just became a full-time poker professional. He started up a stream and ever since it's taken off. So uh, he's grown to be one of the top five Twitch streamers on the platform. Like his channel is huge right now. I think if you compared my channel to his channel as of today, in like current hype, he's probably got more. He's probably a bigger broadcaster in terms of numbers today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come after you, man. But it's true, it's true. You gotta give it to him. And he's never been signed by a poker company before, uh, which it's very frustrating to me, and I'm sure to Matt, it's incredibly much more frustrating because he has deserved that shot for a while now, probably the last two years. He's put in the work, he's put in the time, and he's stood on his own two feet. And unfortunately, like he's been a little bit overlooked, I think, uh, for whatever reason. Today, yesterday, for those of you guys watching, uh, he's signing with Party Poker. That is really cool. Uh, this is like a proud moment as a brother to, in four years, go from playing two cent tournaments to winning like around 100,000 in poker, signing with the second biggest poker company in the world, winning 150K weight bet, living in nine countries, uh, and being the age of 22 or 23. That's just pretty incredible. I'm so proud of him. He's absolutely crushed it. And he 100%, 110% deserves uh, a sponsorship. Really happy for him. Congratulations to Party Poker on picking him up. And uh, I know he's gonna crush it going forward. So make sure you guys head over to his Twitter. Give him some uh, congratulations uh, at Matt Staples Poker, I think it is. So that's some good news to start the day. I obviously knew that was going on behind the scenes. And I'm pumped for him. But for me, today, we're gonna continue on the grind because we gotta catch Matty Ice now, don't we? Now, <laughs> that's, that's a new project. I have as big of a stream as my brother Matt. Uh, so we're gonna go to the gym here. We're gonna kick it off with a little bit of pump, get it going, feel strong. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then we're gonna stream today. Uh, Rebecca back, gets back tonight. I miss Rebecca. It's been three days. This is probably the longest we've spent apart since we got together, uh, which is wild but true. I'm gonna hang out with her after the stream as well and then uh, take the next two days off from streaming poker. So the last push, let's make it count, Brando. Mm hmm. And uh, let's get it. Thanks for watching the vlog. Let's have a great day. Nice work, Staples. Cheers, man. B car's home. B car's back. I'm back. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Hey. The, uh... Plays this, it. The story on these socks. We went, we went, <laughs> we went to Amsterdam last year, and B Car bought some some marijuana socks, and I just thought they were so silly, so I made fun of her for it all the time. I was just like, nice weed socks, and uh, now I have my own pair. So <laughs> this is great. I didn't have any uh, socks, so this is perfect. I'll wear these today. You That'll need be some great. Now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Rebecca. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh God. B car, the people want to know, how was Amsterdam? It was good. It's good to be back though. Yeah. yeah. I missed you a lot. Oh, thanks. What about Jamie? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Go chat with the B car for a bit and then call up the Jeffrey Gross and then fire up a short stream. Skirt. What's up everyone? How's it going? And welcome back to another stream here on the Poker Staples channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great Monday. We're gonna play some tournaments today though, and it's time to get going. So let's fire up some tournaments. Let's get in the stuff. Full house and diamonds complete on the river. Is that a good thing? Do they have diamonds? If they have a queen, they're almost for sure gonna fold. But if they have diamonds or an ace, I think they, we get all the money here. Starting off with a pretty high stakes Monday because a lot of overlay going on on the interwebs today. 
We had the 215 main event, fortunately we were two bullets in. We had the 109 Bounty Hunter Fast, where we just won that huge pot and half our money back in bounties. The 109 Bounty Hunter Non-Fast, the main event where we have the 55 main event, we're basically dead. Here's the big game added tournament, which is into a satellite that runs on Sunday. We play for another two and a half minutes until we make it to, through to Sunday, so our stack will go through. We have the 320 Gladiator, unfortunately on our second bullet, but above starting stack. The 55 Gladiator, just below starting stack, and then the 22 Gladiator, below starting stack. So that's the deal. I'm gonna play some highlights for you guys. We're gonna be back in five minutes. Don't wanna miss this, man. Playing some big stuff. Let's do it. What else are we gonna do? We're gonna shove Ace Queen. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get there with Queen Nine. Do we? Yeah, we have a straight. I was like, how can we not? There's so many. Ace Queen, Ace Jack. Hey, up to 77k. All right. Now we're getting some good news rolling in. Okay. Woo! Poker's going okay. Not great. We're definitely stuck right now. We have a couple of promising stacks. 320, no good. 215 main event, no good. So that's like both two entries. So that's like 1100. Just. But yeah, we still got some promise. Like in the 109s, all these tournaments are like 10k up top. All these 109 and 215s, so. Keep battling streams good too. 1300 viewers, man. That's crazy as well. That's the effect of Sunday is, uh, you know, we have more viewers than what we averaged yesterday when we were playing a huge Sunday with like 5K and buy-ins or whatever. It's just like when you have all the biggest streamers on, the viewers are spread out unless you're the top dog like Lex and you just get all the viewers, you know? Uh, so on a Monday with less people out there, it's like the viewership is actually higher. Everyone's Crazy. tired. If you put in a 16 hour stream like Lex, you gotta, you gotta sleep on Monday. I understand <laughs> it. I get it. Yeah. Oh, gets fours, we hit a king, we hit an ace. Hit two kings. That's a full house, man. 208k, all right. Oh man, I need some good news, dude. This is a terrible run out. Seven deuce of hearts. Well, we got a bluff now. We bet flop a bet turn. We got to try and fold a one pair on the river. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh my God. Sometimes it just, uh, it's just a failure and that's the way it is. It doesn't change how we're going to play. So I, fe I see people in the poker world sometimes. Positivity and optimism is good. And I think it's a good way to live your life. You know, it's just like, it allows you to do your best possible. But then when it comes to results, purely relying on positivity and optimism when it comes to results isn't very realistic. It's not a fair judgment. So you have to have some realism to your positivity and your your optimism, is my opinion. You know, I see Danny Negreanu and Phil Hummel Youth, and they're much better poker players than I've ever been. They are much more, they've won much more tournaments than I ever will, right? They're incredible. Then I also see both of them saying like, I'm going to win this tournament and, and that's a good mindset, but it's also not realistic. Like they don't always win the tournament when they say that, you know? And it's like, to me, it makes sense to operate in a mindset of just like, we're going to do our best. That's all we can do is do our best. And we're always going to have a chance to, to win the tournament or to take down the day, but also not to believe in your head that you're going to win every tournament you play because it's just not real. Maybe if I could switch up my brain and switch that mindset to where, where I could actually believe that, maybe I'd be a better poker player. But it, it's also like defies uh, the reality too. So it's not true. Ignorance is bliss though. So I mean, if you can, uh, if you can have that, maybe it's better. Okay, Jack five three, pretty dry board. I don't think we can bet fold here. I also don't think checking is the right option. So we'll bet call, I guess. If they have a jack five or three, so be it. We have six outs, 24%. They have a flush draw, we're slightly ahead. They have an ace jack, we're doing terribly. The progress right now, we have kings. Gets king queen. <laughs> 279 is the final. GG dude, we busted in uh, 12th in that 109. We had a bit of a run at the end, like we had a chance, but, and rest in peace, dude. So, no pretty way. rough day on the felt. Like, I, I showed up, but I didn't play very well for the first little bit. Wasn't super focused. You know, pulled it back together at the end a little bit, but it wasn't my best effort today. Kind of disappointing. That'll happen. I mean, everyone has good days and bad days. We're shutting it down four hours in. That's okay. And have two good days of rest. That's a wrap, man. I get to host Matty Ice, though, and it's a big day for him, so I'm excited about that. I think oh, that's gonna be- on the screen over there. That's him, that's the man. <laughs> we found out that we, uh, that we won the PLO in Barcelona. 
So yeah, I think that's going to be wrapping the vlog today, guys. Uh, pretty normal day. I mean, Rebecca got back and played some tournaments, but um, that's about it. Next two days, I'm off, hanging out with Rebecca tomorrow. Wednesday, got some work stuff to do. Then Thursday through Sunday, oh, we're going to win some poker tournaments. I'll tell you that. So uh, hopefully you guys check in then. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But until next time, we'll see you later.